Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to our urban homestead. And today, dehydrating, dehydrating carrots. If you didn't watch my carrot harvesting video, I will leave it at the end of this video somewhere right around here. <laughs> Go check it out. Uh, this has been my best carrot harvest. Um, I've only been growing carrots. This is my third year. Last year I got none, well, three lone carrots. Um, the year before that I only got about two pounds and this year I got seven and a half pounds. Um, so these are all, these are gonna be my soup carrots for, uh, well, some of the soup carrots for winter. What I've done is I have just cut the tops off. Uh, I know this is gonna drive some people crazy, but these are not all in uniform sizes. Um, and I like larger pieces of carrots in my soups. If you don't, feel free to cut them into coins or whatever size shape you prefer. I have a pot of boiling water here. Well, it's not boiling yet. A pot of water on to boil because we need to blanch the carrots before dehydrating. When I first started dehydrating, I just stuck the carrots in the dehydrator without blanching them. Let me tell you, <laughs> they were like little rocks. So you really do need to blanch carrots before dehydrating. So I'm gonna wait for this pot of water to come up and I'll be right back. So the water is boiling. I think I'm gonna just dump all of them in. You can certainly do them in batches if you want, but we're just gonna get it done. And once this comes back up to a boil, I'm going to set my timer for three minutes. So if you don't grow carrots, you can certainly do this with like baby carrots that you get at the store. I have done that before. That is actually what I did last year. <laughs> and I'm just putting them into this cold water. This is purely optional. It doesn't affect the outcome of the carrot. I'm just doing it because I don't want to burn my hands when I'm putting them on the dehydrator trays. All right, I will meet you at the dehydrator. Okie doke. Now we're just going to get the trays filled. These will, you will be very surprised with how much these shrink down. So it's okay to pack your tray pretty full. I also have some onions that I'm going to be dehydrating from the garden. I just have to chop them up. They're waiting for me. Oopsie, run away carrot. So the carrots are, they're, oops, they're soft, but they're not like, they're not mush. So when you like throw them in your soup, they will be a wonderful consistency. They won't turn to mush. So I don't know about you, but I don't like mushy carrots. That's why I'm not a fan of canning my um, carrots. Just really not into the mush. Right, I'm gonna go get my onions and get those on the tray. Onions, you do not need to blanch. You just chop them and drop them. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back to talk about time and temperature. All right, so my trays are loaded. The lid on. 
So on my dehydrator, it says to start vegetables at 1.30. I like to do it at about 1.20, sometimes even 1.15. Yes, it will take longer, but it they'll really hold their color better. Um, and in my opinion, just like more of the nutrition. Like I said, that's just my opinion. You do you and I'll do me. So 120 and these are gonna go, I'm gonna check them after eight hours. So I'll see you later. So it's actually the next day. Look how small, when I said that they would shrink, they really do shrink. So all I'm gonna do is for now, I'm gonna put them into this quart mason jar. And uh, every day I'm just gonna give them a shake. That's the con conditioning process. And then after a week or so, what I will do is I will carrots. I will use the vacuum jar sealer, but isn't that, am <laughs> isn't that amazing? What was it? 2.69 pounds of carrots all reduced into this. I mean, this could fit into a pint jar, honestly. <laughs> And then these are the onions. Those will go in a different jar. So yeah. So thanks for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to be subscribed to my channel and Beth over at the Miller Life Kitchen. Make sure you comment on all of our videos that have the dehydrating collaboration on it and good luck i will be doing a live on my channel september 9th to see who is the lucky winner i am so excited i wish you all the best of luck and until next time abundance and blessings to you bye bye